Hey folks, so I attended a thrift sale and I spent a grand total of $18 and I'm just going to show you what I picked up for that. Uh, this is not what I picked up for the $18. This stuff came free. So I'm going to go through it quickly and let you know kind of what uh, the reasoning was for picking it up. So we'll go from there. Um, yeah, there was uh, something like four or five boxes of stuff outside for free. So I picked through it while I was waiting. And yeah, so let's go through it quick. Um, obviously, Old English uh, lemon oil. I used tons of that, so that was great. That saved me probably, I don't know, I forget what the stuff cost. Eight bucks, 12 bucks, something like that. So that was good. Pick that up. And a lot of this silver plate... Uh, a lot of it can be brass or copper. So despite it not selling well at all in the store, I pick it up when it's free because I can scrap it. So a lot of this will go into scrap. Um, this is EP on BM, which is a base metal. So it may not be copper or brass. It might be nickel or it might be uh, a lead-based uh, product. But uh, regardless, it'll get scrapped. <laughs> A um, couple potato ricers. I've had requests for these. Not sure why, uh, but I figured, well, seeing as I've had requests for them now, I better pick up a couple. And I got two of them. Uh, just a tray for sorting stuff. Uh, free scrub daddy. I think that's what these are. Uh, anyway, for cleaning stuff. And some lamp parts. So they were free. Like I said, this all this stuff came free. Uh, Munt pan, but it's aluminum, so scrap metal. Uh, got this Elsie dairy pail, which is collectible in itself. That's probably good for fifteen bucks in this out of the shop. Some more scrap metal. Got some brass. Uh, probably, I suspect this is maybe just a base metal again, but who knows. I'll test it with a uh, file, some more base metal, or possibly copper or brass, big chunk of brass, good good scrap there, some copper, some more silver plate, well, it could be brass or copper or otherwise, uh, sifter, I get about anywhere from 8 to 12, 15 bucks for these, so that's good. Another potato ricer, got a couple, a bit more silver plate. Again, like I said, we're just going to scrap. And we got a blue nose rug hooker. So we got a hooker. Yes. Um, anyway, including lubricating sliding parts with Vaseline. Yeah, no comment, guys. Um, anyway, so got that. So that was the stuff I got for free. And I'll show you the stuff I actually paid for. All right, so let's go through some stuff I bought uh, for this $18. And you can tell me how well I did or how well you think I did. Um, got a lemonade pitcher with the ice lips. And got another pitcher. These are probably 60s. I suspect they're 70s. Mid-century modern stuff's coming up hot, so pick them up. Everything was basically a dollar or less. So, yeah. So we did fine. Um, let's see. We've got a set of these. These are mid-century modern as well. Normally I don't didn't pick these up, but apparently they're going for decent money now. Uh, I forget the designer that did these. I forget the name of, at the moment. If I remember, I'll put it up on the screen for you. But uh, I got a set of four of those. And let's see. What is the fourth one? <clears throat> so, yeah, there's four of them. And also the mid century modern theme and Bakelite. Got a set of six little hors d'oeuvre forks. Hors d'oeuvre spikes, I guess, or forks, whatever. And again, they're Bakelite handles. <clears throat> <coughs> Excuse me. 
and got you know, a J Sheen or Chain globe, little globe bank. Probably good for ten or twelve, fifteen dollars. So that was all right. Got a Merlin game, a little electronic game from the late seventies, eighties. I think these are. Let's see, what do we got? Copyright. Uh, no copyright date that I can see. Oh, copyright registered 1979. So yeah, late 70s, early 80s. So yeah, pretty good for in the box for a dollar. So that was good. Got a a Crescent Creamery milk bottle. That's good for again 15 bucks. We're not looking at big dollars here, but uh, did okay. <clears throat> Got a Pyrex gravy boat that's with underplate, so that's good for about 25, maybe 30. And we've got a compact right here <clears throat> with Mother of Pearl top on it. There, uh, oh, <laughs> you, and we got a tooth. Somebody's baby tooth that got saved. Ugh, yeah. Anyway, so there's the compact. Little purse type compact. So that's good. That's probably good for ooh, $25 to $35 thereabouts. So that's pretty cool. Then we got a probably Blue Mountain or Laurentian Pottery Cat. Kind of a stylized cat, a neat mid-century modernish type figure, and we got a fairly modern, but still caterpillar watch fob. So promo item from Cat. So that's pretty good from Kramer Tractor Limited, Regina, Saskatoon, and Tisdale, Saskatchewan. So just a remake, but uh, probably a promo item. For uh, promoting cat caterpillar tractors and uh, such, and we got a little um, COF pin here. Uh, Canadian Order of Foresters. I'm uh, just checking to see if it's gold or not. So let's see. Cross your fingers that it's gold. The jewelry and such they didn't really tally too much for it. Nope, not gold. So it's just a regular brass pin. But I thought, well, it might be, so I grabbed it. Anyway, so that's still a $5 pin, though. Put it there. And then we got a little sterling pin. Uh, Scottish thistle and everything with the kind of an amethyst, I guess, or such. And it's sterling silver. So that's kind of cool. That's probably good for $35, $40. So that was a good piece. And uh, some coins. Uh, this is a um, souvenir token type thing. Canadian uh, 1970 token for Canada's or Manitoba's Centennial and then this one is just a oh it's a Knott's Berry Farm token so nothing too special there uh, part of a token group on Facebook so I'll just put them up in one lot with some other tokens and such and uh, maybe get a few bucks for them nothing special there and a Fire King casserole. I'm not sure what pattern this is, so I'm going to have to check that out. Uh, it appears to be kind of a 70s, 60s pattern, so we'll see. And then uh, got a couple Coleman lamps. Now, anytime I can pick up a Coleman lamp for a dollar, I'll take it. Uh, these are both fairly common ones. Um, these are 335s. Sportsman's, I think, is what they're called. But 
fairly common, but for a dollar, I'll take them. Still good for parts. And I think this is a 335 as well. Yeah, 335s. So fairly common ones, but for a buck, why not? And then I did a second round after that. And I got a big uh, awl type or drill, kind of a T-shaped thingy here. Hand forged uh, for making holes in beams and such for putting things like barns and such together. So for a buck, hey, why not? And let's see. So got uh, a couple Czechoslovakian, or no, I guess they're English. English? Yes, they're made in England. So little hat pin holders or vases, probably more like vases, but they've got little sterling rims. So for the money, I figured why not? Uh, if they clean up, I'll sell them as is, or sell them the way they are. Uh, if, Like I said, if they clean up nice. If they don't, I'll pop the sterling off them and scrap it. But I suspect they'll clean up all right, so I'll polish them up and clean them up. And then I'll get, oh, probably 35 40 for the pair. Something like that. And uh, a couple of utensils for myself. Just some stuff for the kitchen. Uh, we've got a nice kind of Alaska Black Diamond type um, tie clip. And then a local ice cream container from Verdon Creamery. So that's kind of a neat one, but no lid, unfortunately. I do have one in my collection already, so that one will go out for sale. <clears throat> and then I got two books by Robert W. Service, Songs of a Sourdough. This is the fellow that wrote In Flanders Fields. By the way, uh, this one is unfortunately a 13th edition, so I don't think it's too big of a deal. However, did get this one, which is Rhymes of a Red Cross Man. And I think it may be a first edition. I'm not sure. I'll have to uh, check. But uh, I'm thinking it's a first edition. And yeah, so that one might be good. I'll have to check. I'll put the value of it up on the screen for you if you like. Or if I remember, rather. So that was all right. Uh, not a lot for books this time. No area histories or anything like that. But uh, did get these two, which were cool. But that's it. So for $18, how'd I do? Did I do all right for 18 bucks? What do you think? Leave me a comment below. Let me know whether you think I did fine, good, indifferent, or really bad. <laughs> did I just pick up a bunch of junk? But uh did get some decent stuff for sale, so that's all right. Thanks for watching, folks. Please be sure to like and subscribe and check out our other videos on antiquing, picking, thrifting, scrapping, etc. Take care, folks.